Next up, we're going to start to talk about the lifeblood of our engine. When we look at the human body, of course, we have blood that circulates through us. In an engine, we have something similar known as the oil. And the lubricating system is, of course, what moves that oil around. Now, like the blood that you have in your body, the oil can tell us a lot about how healthy our engine is. You know, sometimes a doctor will give us a blood test if they're checking to see if everything's okay. The oil, when we look at the oil, we can actually tell a lot about our engine just from looking at the oil. Now, when we start out with our walk around, of course, we always want to make sure that there's enough oil in our engine, right? So, some students come to me and they're like, Aaron, how do I know how much engine my oil takes? Well, first answer to that, of course, is check the POH and look at the maximum capacity and the minimum capacity. However, most engines also have a little trick that you can use, and that would be by simply looking at the oil filler cap itself. So, right there, I've got the number six. So, that is the capacity to fill this particular engine. Now, that said, with most engines, you actually don't want to fill them to the maximum capacity. Because what happens with oil is, well, as soon as it starts to circulate through that engine, it heats up, the engine builds up certain pressures, and you're going to see in a little while that sometimes an engine, if it has too much oil, it might actually start to vent a little bit of it overboard. So if you start out by filling your engine right to its maximum capacity, you're probably going to end up wasting a little bit of oil and or money. So a good rule of thumb, and again, check to make sure in your POH that this is okay and that you're not going below any minimum quantities, but a good rule of thumb is to typically add about one quart less than is published here. So as you know, when you take this off, and then you pull it out, you've got that dipstick, and it will typically mark your maximum capacity of six quarts, and then it will also show a minimum capacity. And in this particular case, this is an 0320 from a 152, so the minimum capacity on the oil dipstick is a four. So, myself, I typically will fill my engine to about five quarts halfway between the four and the six, and as I mentioned, one quart less than what is printed on the filler cap itself. You do a long cross country, you'll be plenty safe. The average engine will burn some oil, and in a little bit we'll kind of come to an understanding of why that is so. Surprisingly, there are many engines out there in the aviation world that actually state that it's acceptable now, I don't think this is normal, but there are some engines that say that, yeah, you know, if you burned a quart an hour, that's still considered safe and airworthy. Now, again, typically what you're going to find is maybe between oil changes every 50 hours, depending on your airplane, 50 to 25 hours, 25 to 50 hours, you're probably going to burn a couple of quarts for sure. What you would be looking for is any unusual unusual changes. All right, so that's a pretty good introduction, I think. When it comes to oil, first thing we think of is that, well, it lubricates our engine. However, guess what? Oil actually does a lot more than just lubricate. So what are the four key things that oil does for us? Now, for the exam, you're going to need to have these memorized. The four main purposes of oil are lubricate. From there, we then have cooling, sealing, and cleaning.